Mango signing on for Guild Gaming once again. Finally, I'm getting off my ass and doing a video. And guess what? It is 1 in the morning. I take it back, it is 1.24 in the morning. And uh, I have school in about 5 or 6 hours. So I decided better time to uh, just knock out a video. What's up anyway, doing some English stuff. So I'm gonna do this. It's gonna, I got you for about 40 minutes. Uh, I've got a timer and everything this time, so we're gonna be good. Be a good boy. Now, uh, <clears throat> here we have the, uh, new Imperial Edition of Rome 2, and the new campaign that comes with the Imperial Edition, uh, called, let's see, Augustus, Imperator Augustus. So this is pretty much pre-Rome 2. This is like the prequel. Uh, I'm gonna play as Rome. One of the Roman factions. Mark Antony's Rome. It's him. He's got Greece, a little bit of Turkey, Jordan, Jerusalem action going on, a little bit of Africa. I've never played this before, so please bear with me. I'm gonna look at our settings here. No advisor help. I am actually using a ton of mods, so I don't need any, you know, uh, time limits or AI or anything. I'm using, uh, Divide at Imperia, the new improved Imperial edition of that mod. So, it has the usual stuff, you know? AI overhaul, recoloring, new units, just new mechanics, a little tweak, some tweaks to the, uh, you know, uh, technology trees, some new buildings, real polished look. This background is gorgeous, I love it. Also, uh, it just raises the uh, difficulty and histor- it, all right. This mod is all about historical accuracy, so I can't wait to see what's going on here. I'm gonna learn a lot. You're gonna learn a lot. It's gonna be great. Absolutely wonderful. That's- I've burned about three minutes. Uh, so Mark Antony's Rome. I'm using other mods as well, like other, uh, add additions of units. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'm gonna put all those in the description. So. Let's just get going here. And you know what? I'm gonna cut out the loading screen, so I'll see you guys on the campaign map. You are my son, but I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you, sir? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master.
More loading. Oh, here we go. Having received the lion's share of the Republic and its challenges, you are locked into a deadly struggle with Parthia in the east. They wish to rob you of valuable client states. You may save them and counterattack deep into Parthian territory, or sacrifice these provinces to buy yourself time elsewhere. In the Balkans, your Thracian allies are threatened by deadly nomadic tribes from the north. Invading the region will give you a springboard to Rome, should your fragile triumvirate collapse. This, after all, is your ultimate goal, and should be pursued with unswerving dedication. Greatness beckons you. Follow its trail to the bitter end. Alright, so... I'm Mark Antony. I like this. Alright, so that's kind of cool. I love the video at the beginning. It's awesome. Just make sure to show you guys that. The capital is Athens. And, oh, I gotta start my timer up again. Pause the loading screen. Alright. About 36 minutes. Okay. Commander! So we're looking at. I don't need that. So we're looking at. Marcus. Imperial Victoria. Yeah. This is kind of cool. So we got Javelin and some crap. Uh, some crap. I'm assuming. Base morale is pretty good at 50. Actually, I don't know. That would be good, actually. Medium strength. Ready for battle! I get it, Latin culture, all that crap. This. Some nice Machiafori. So, I uh, know I'm saying that incorrectly, but bear with me. It's uh, Optis, Thriophori, Ice, Oplatai, Corinthian Oplatis. Look at this. Alright. Some cool javelin men. Then I have to uh, wait. Gotta get high form level. So, so, oh, gee. Look at all that cohorts of a cohorts legion. Maria and the Germanica. That's gonna be worth it. Something like that. So, okay. What do I own? Oh, nice. Okay, so what I'm noticing with the names here is that it harkens back to a Rome 1 era. Uh, instead of Pelva, it's, you know, or Pella, it's uh, Thessalonica. Deva. Thea's here. Okay. This is actually, uh, it harkens back to the original Rome Total War in a lot in other ways too, like the uh, triumvirate we have here. Uh, you kind of you know how you had if you if you wow look at all this money holy crap twelve thousand a turn Jesus fifty eight food <laughs> what <laughs> I'm stacked I don't have to do shit I can just take over everything now look at that shit anyway. Get the side track. Right. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. So, uh, it goes back to Rome 1 because in Rome 1 you had three different Roman families. You had just the Senate controlling Rome, you had the Julii controlling Northern Italy, the Brutii controlling Southern Italy, and the Scipii controlling Sir uh, Sicily. And they all pretty much did their own thing until civil war broke out, and I feel like, and you know, one of them was too powerful, and the others to learn more on them, and all of that fun stuff. So, it ended up being just kind of a civil war, and you'd take over Rome and the rest of them, and the Roman Empire united, and I feel like that's where this is headed. Except it's more historically accurate, as opposed to just being three random families that just, you know, hash it out. Now it's the triumvirate of Mark Antony. Pompey and Caesar. A few other guys like Lepidus and the, uh, you know, I thought Pompey was from Spain. Uh, did his hit the Spanish Legion? I guess I'm wrong. This is Lepidus' Rome. And whatnot. But, uh, Mark Antony. 
It's kind of cool. It's Egyptian crap and all that. So, I don't know why I don't own Egypt. You know. Here. Anyway. So, uh, I've got some... These regions are kind of cut off. So, like you said at the beginning, I have to decide whether or not to sacrifice them or go somewhere else. Like, or the, the Balkans over here. Or Egypt. I feel like focusing on Egypt. Yes. Even though they're my allies. But they're my allies. I guess I'm not focusing on Egypt. This is our own. This is our own. So it looks like a kind of. Alright, so they're my allies too. Galicia. Looks like the Pontus. So the only enemy I have right now is Parthia and Palmria. Okay, so. I guess I kind of have to focus there because there's no one else to focus on. So let's do that. Cilician. 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 Eh. Either way. Okay. So we got Galatian. And then, let's just open up the Arthian unit. I need some Latin culture so I can actually like the It's mostly Greek. The way I'm gonna do it. overload for the first turn, which has lasted now six or seven minutes. So let's go ahead and turn what you can just kind of soak it in. Oh, edicts. This is Macedonia. faster start than the original uh, grand campaign for this game. Just to let you know. In case you had boost. <laughs> so Macedonia are Stuff 
was already researched. Go with this. Just cause. Alright, end that turn. Ah, jeez. Pompeii has attacked Octavian. Pompeii looks like a fucking bum, so I the wall. I don't have an ally with the one anyway, so. Looks like Pompeii controls Sicily. That's. we have to attack. Pompeii's being a douchebag and destroying the Triumphant already. First turn. Can you spare men to cut a few throats? These people need death. They would welcome it at your hands. Yeah, I can attack these guys. Something to do, you know. Other than defend this area. Edicts have been issued. My army destroyed. Yada yada yada. still whole, so it's like keeping the problems. Just recruit some guys here. Sure, they all kind of suck. Galician levies. Same thing. Way. There's two of them. Probably some mod thing. Syrian. That's cool. Some carrion axe. Carrion axe. Rhodian slingers. It looks like they got some armor on them. That's nice. Uh, okay. The main focus is over here, but also now I have to worry about these guys over here. They're best darn. So, let's beef up some stuff. Beef up this Thessalonica. Thessalonica. Shrine of Jupiter. Mastodon is gonna get that. Thessalonica. I'll give you a general. This 
Stodis, Pretori, Ichinari, Ferrari. We'll go with these guys. Ready for orders. These guys. Thoroughforce. Are you ready to serve Rome? I like that. So let's send them up. Isos. There's also a nice little army here. Auxiliarian. Auxiliaries. And that, get 11,000 next turn. Eating away at the money. It's a lot to run. I didn't realize how much land I had when I started this. So I'm gonna go ahead and neglect a few things. We have fine goods, and you doubtless have much that we would find desirable. You can say no to trade. I can't. <sighs> Tell you what, guys, it's good to be back. I love this. I've been really busy lately, though. Military development, of course. Even though I'm not even researching. Unseasonal condition. Troubled Avilus, the Atticon, a quartermaster. Or, or, don't care. Okay. Let's go back over here. I'm gonna check on my, uh, my culture. So this is basically the way culture works in this game. I, I have to explain this. I've actually explained this a million times, but I've never put up a video on this game, so this is gonna be time you're going to see me explain this culture thing. So, you can build buildings of the Roman culture or, you know, any faction you can have you can build buildings of that faction's culture. And you can build buildings that raise the culture. And as you raise the culture in this mod of Imperia at, uh, or Divide and Imperia, it uh, unlocks your uh, cultural units. Like, you know, I'm playing as Rome right now, so my cultural units like legionaries and auxiliaries, not the auxiliaries because I can recruit those, uh, legionaries and you know, Roman units, uh, you know, your classic Roman units, the ones that you recognize. Uh, right now, it looks like that's happening. I've got 30% Latin culture. Once I get around 50, that's when I can recruit uh, Stati, legionaries, and equitates, and such like those. Uh, so my influence is 12. It's going up 3.5%, which is a huge number. Uh, because of my edict of romanization, which adds three conversion, and my uh, little shrine, which is going to help as well. Uh, so, the tooltips in this game are actually beautiful. They really did it as well. It's just, I mean, look at all this information you get from just mousing over something. You get the public order. It's minus 21 because I have cultural differences, which will go down. Actually, they'll go up first, and then they'll go down. Because the more that the Latin culture's rising, the more the other people get upset. And then finally, when the majority is just Latin, they start calming down because, well, they're Latin culture now, instead of the opposing cultures. So, taxes, slaves, military presence. I forgot military presence Ready in the orders. actual city. The main. So I'm going to have to move everyone out. Just to get public order and, and uh, Ready check for here. Battle. So I have I'm to move my armies. Which for some reason I can't do. Oh, here we go. You have further orders? So that means I can now do some decent, halfway men. decent public order. Oh, look at this. Jeez. If I caught it, dramatic. Wars Legion area. Beautiful, I tell ya. Everything's kind of expensive. That's the downside. A lot of money coming in, I guess. So the price, all the money factors have kind of expanded in this game. Everything used to be a little cheaper. Everything used to be getting a lot less money, I guess. But, you know, Commander. that's what happens when you have a huge empire to start out with. You get 10,000 turn. So Parthia hasn't really made a move. I've pretty much finished explaining my culture. I'll let you know when buildings are uh, raising the culture. 
mostly it's shrines like this one. Consecrate ground, you upgrade it to get more culture. Farms are gonna get you food. Food is gauged right here. More food, the happier people are. I don't know really the benefits other than that, but uh, it's just a nice little uh, realistic thing. Yellow buildings, it's, it's color coded as well. So blue is gonna be a, a harbor or a port. The uh, the yellow, uh, the yellow uh, in the top left corner of every city is gonna be like the uh, municipal center, and then other yellow this one. The, uh, I want to say this is more orange and this is more yellow. These are going to be just public order, just, you know, public places like, you know, uh, auditoriums, coliseums, and, uh, things like that. So you're going to have your green for farms, your red for military, your purple for religious, and your yellow for just public, uh, public works and affairs. Or I'm just going to be your municipal city center. That's how buildings kind of work, color coded wise. And edicts, if you control an entire. This is diplomacy. If you control an entire province, like this one, like I have all of Syria, which includes uh, Cyprus, I guess, you can uh, put an edict down, which is basically a benefit for the entire province. Like, I have romanization for all of my five fully controlled provinces, and the benefit to that is, let's look at it, minus 25% auxiliary recruitment cost, so my auxiliary is like, so my non-roman units, my mercenary units, essentially, like these guys, and like everything I can recruit without Latin culture, it's going to be minus 25%, so it's going to be a 25% discount on that. And then it's going to add a th plus three conversion to Latin culture, so people are going to turn Roman in. So it's going to Romanize my people faster, much, much faster. Uh, hence the uh, title of this edict, Romanization. Okay, so that's a little crash course in uh, the basic fundamentals of Rome 2's building system and edict system and culture system. Recruitment, everything else you're pretty much going to see me do, recruitment. These are mercenaries, but the upkeep is way too expensive, so I never really go with those. Whew, that's a mouthful. Okay, so there might probably won't be a battle this, uh, this episode, because it's all set up and I only have 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> so... Unless I get into a, a scuffle with uh, these guys over here to the south or the uh, east. Look at that. These guys are cut off. They only have one thing. Let's take them out, actually. We hunger at once. Ready for further orders. I'm gonna recruit a little more. That is impossible. Your next command. Do some cavalry. Syrians. Put some Syrians down there. Next turn. I'll go with some uh, Galician spearmen. And then we'll head into Edessa. Get some silk, too. Right, right, right. So, this is all good. I'm gonna wait for that to be. All the buildings are new too, so I'm kind of learning all of this crap. Market settlements. Benefits, benefits. So with a civil settlement, I get minus one food. I can handle that. I got 48. Public order, plus growth, higher wealth, plus 2% wealth from all sources. More recruitment capacity. And provides a pretty nice garrison. Farming settlement. Everything except public order. And then it gets more focused on agriculture, as you can guess. Market settlements. So the 
civil settlement is pretty much all around, and the most expensive because of it. So I gotta stay away from I gotta stay away from creating my buildings until I have more of a military to focus on. Once my military's up, I can focus on the civil stuff because I won't be as in a, in a, as much of trouble trying to fend off all these guys from my borders. So got another guy. We got some guys recruiting here. I'm thinking I'm just gonna recruit their army. Just to help defend this area. Ready for orders. I'm gonna send him to uh, Apsakas. Apsakas. Have him recruit if you can. The, the textures actually have been improved now with the Imperial Edition, you can tell. You can see all the helmet details, a little indents. The, uh, the, the textures have gotten a lot better in this game. They've done a lot of really good job since the launch of fixing this all up. Ready for orders. I don't know if I really need to focus on recruiting here, because this is pretty friendly. But it's right over here I was recruiting some guys. Not my army. Here we go. Commander. I was gonna send them up to Nessos. Make haste, men! Recruit some more. Your next command. Pads. Three of spears. Come! Fight for Rome! Be more of them. Legio 5 Victrix. Oh, that's right. These guys. We hunger for battle. Waiting for orders. Are you ready to serve Rome? Looks good. Just beef up some military. Mostly focus on this. I'm gonna try to take out Edessa, and then I can focus completely on the south since to the uh, east everything else is an ally or neutral. So that should be fun. Got a nice little surplus of four forty seven hundred dollars that I didn't spend either, so that'll be nice. I'm getting better at this guys. Getting better. Or not. Cappadocia has attacked Galatia. I'm allies with both of them. Galatia's bigger and closer, so I'm gonna go on their side. Or did I do the opposite? I feel like I did the opposite. I didn't want to do that. They, f they really confuse me sometimes. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go ahead and reload that real fast. I know it's cheap, but I'm gonna do it. That's, that's not at all what I meant to do. Okay. So. This is doing... That's gone, that's gone. Okay, so it's right before I ended the turn. It saved my settings. We'll do that. What a, what a fuck up. <laughs> the people will turn to the legions and they will set their swords to your people. Lepidus, you dog. This guy. Looks like a prick. So Lepidus has declared war on me. They all joined me. Alright. Well, Lepidus is gonna come gun for me. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh. 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 Are we done? Is it frozen? Am I finished? Looks like I'm finished. Hold on, hold on. Okay guys, I'm back after that crash fail. So, 
still at that same end turn. And hopefully this turn doesn't fuck up yet again. Here we go. We've got ten minutes left. So we're gonna go for ten minutes. Lepidus, instead of declaring war on me, has declared war on Octavian. So, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and help out Octavian. Happens to own Carthage and all that, I think. So pretty close. So I'll be attacking him pretty soon. First Edessa. Wow, that actually didn't do something stupid. Great. Ready for orders. Right. I got four more spots in the middle. I said I was gonna do some Galatians. And I didn't lie to you. Are you ready to serve Rome? We're gonna do it. What has happened to you? Oh, jeez. I could care less. Faction crisis. Really far away from me. Ready for orders. That's your command. Looks like I got some Latin culture. Okay, 51% Latin, so now I can recruit these guys. So let's go with some uh Cohors Legionaria. Sign up lads for a good and glorious life! So cool. Why can't I recruit here? Where am I on this? Still 51%. Four percent Latin. Still got a turn. That'll add two more culture conversion. All right, so our turn in my army of auxiliaries will take on whatever Parthia has in Odessa. Lepidus is over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for that. Get my spy over there. I just want you to go buy it. Moving unseen. Jeez. I seek rest. Ready for orders. Got some foot soldiers. Libyan levies. Javelin men. Javelin men. Okay. So. Soldiering. It's a good levies, life. I guess. Your command. Then, uh, we end up Libyans with spears. Journey come. Chino shouldn't be underestimated. No, that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> oh boy. One more turn, guys. And I got six minutes. I don't know if I should do the battle because I don't. I know I'm not gonna be able to do it. So. Should I spill over? Ready for orders. Wrong space to zoom. Okay. Commander. Advance. So there's nothing in the path is blocked. <laughs> I'll spill over a little. Let's go. Finally! I like the dudes. So, it looks like this won't be a city battle like I thought. So this might actually only take five minutes. The thing that people don't do, I already told this to everyone who watched my Empire of the War video with Bailey. Bailey's of hey. 
is. Inflation spirit would be pretty cool. I like to zoom in on my guys. I like to show you what they look like. I like to show you what's going infantry on. Infantry ready. The other guys don't do that. I kind of get frustrated when I can't see what's going on. Your orders. These are my Roman guys. Pretty legit. Horse Vigilum. That's the way we're gonna organize this. General is gonna go on this little hill. Cav this way. Cav that way. Galatians and our Romans in the back. Just heavy line. Orders, my lord! Our sword. army but it is brave only in appearance in reality their generals are fops and merchants more suited to arguing over things than fighting battles so prepare to give them a fight So I'm gonna spill a little over. Oops. Do a play. Oh, advance at speed!
system. Just out of here. First of the region is controlled by allies. Charak. This is kind of a linear region. Red Sea. It's not the Red Sea, I lied to you. The Red Sea is over here. Uh, not sure what sea this is. So we're gonna end. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this is my first video in a long time, but I'll start cranking them out. Uh, hopefully. I have a promise, but I'll, I'll try. Uh, we'll continue this campaign next episode. Thank you guys again for watching Keep Gaming. Please, please subscribe. Everyone on this channel works real hard. We do our best. Check out our uh, recent Hour in the Life of videos of Trainer and our friend of the show, Evan Perry. Thanks again for watching. This is Belt Makeup signing off for Guild Game. See you guys.